I'm scared to even look at my accounts. I haven't checked my Robinhood account no more. I'm down about 8K from all-time highs. My crypto, I'm down to. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. It, re it really is. The question is, did you sell any of your positions? Because my thing is, okay, let's talk about selling. Because people say, man, never sell whatever it is. You can sell. The problem I hate selling right now is selling at a loss. And this is a bad loss. Nobody, Anybody selling right now is not making any money. If you want to sell, this is how you do it, in my opinion. So let's say, for example, let me just go to Coinbase. Say, for example, you wanted to sell... You got a lot of money in Sheba. You invested in Sheba. It's just, it's just, you just been getting smack, right? So let's say a year, you know, we're going to say, look at Sheba a year ago. You bought in right here. A by buying at the high. You bought in right here. Money is completely going down. You like, all right. Now, you if it's a company like Sheba, I'll give you a few scenarios. With Sheba, let's say your chance of, it going back up to right here is low. So you can just sell it right now. So let's say you had 10000 in there and now you got 1000 So you're down $9,000. You pissed the hell off. Take that 1000 out and you're literally just transferring that money to something more promising, something stronger, but have a, a good, still good upside. For example, you can put that $1,000 in Solana. I personally will put it in Terra Luna because I know Luna can snap his fingers and just completely shoot up very quickly. Like this is opportunity. Just look at look at this. This is in 2021. This is all within a year, people. Luna was low as three dollars. It's at fifty nine. As high as a hundred and twenty dollars. So I will trade it and do it like that. And work on your way of getting that $9,000 back that you lost. That's plan A. Plan B is, let's say you invested in good old ApeCoin. You're like, hey, man, I want to get in on ApeCoin. Everybody was talking about it. Money going wild. Let's check it out. So you invest in ApeCoin, and you know when you invested in. At the high. So right around $27, you and you and we're gonna be nice. We just say you invest at $26. As soon as you invested in, money started going down. Now it's at $10. So if you invested in at $26, 50% of that is $13. So you're down well over 50%. We're just gonna say 60% right now on your money, which is not good. So if you invested ten thousand dollars, you're down six grand. You got four grand left. What I would do in this scenario is, I will wait for ApeCoin to hit over sixteen dollars. Once it hit over sixteen dollars, that's when I will sell. I will literally have it alert, have it order because now you can gain some money back. I don't want to do the math off the top of my head because I don't know. But if you, let's just, we just going to say, because it's not the right math. Let's say you get extra three grand back if it sells at $16. Because more than likely it will hit 16 and go back down. You It, it even could be $15. It could be whatever level you like to do, but you would have to really do a analysis off of it bouncing back up and what you think it would do. Because you see like, okay, it went to 14, boom, it did a little $2 jump. And that's how you will have to take a loss on something like that. And, you know, sell. And I will probably go, like, hard in DeFi with, at that point. I'm like, look, let me take, you know, I'm down six grand, but I got 4000 Let me take two and put in DeFi and Akuna Matata while you got these APRs and you could possibly make your money. So my thing is, it's okay to sell. And, all right, and, and the third, in the third way. Third way is... You're getting your ass beat, right? Let's say you're on Bitcoin. Come on, come on. 
Come and talk to me. Really? All right. Let's say you're on Bitcoin. You're getting completely smoked. You're getting beat down at this point. Now, let's say people are like, all right, man, don't sell, don't sell, don't sell, don't sell. Let's say, for example, you notice in the last week, you're like, man, it's getting worse, it's getting worse, it's getting worse. If this gets to 36000 I'm going to sell. And it with that big drop, you, you sold right here. Completely sold right here. If you sold, you're technically, let's say if you had one Bitcoin, you technically save four thousand dollars from losing. The question is, it's on you to figure out when do you buy back in. You don't want to buy back in right here because it was pointless for you to sell. Long as you buy back in under this point, you're good. Now you have a few different ways to do it. You can be like, okay, let's wait for two days in the green. Look at right now, we're down 6%. Whenever I see this is green at noon today, then green at noon tomorrow, it's like, okay, we might be up on a positive thing going, but you really want to buy in on the red. It's just hard to time it that way. So those are a few different ways you can actually sell if you want to, because a lot of people be like, man, you know, paper hands, paper hands, don't sell, don't sell. The hell with that. It's your money. Choose wisely. And sometimes you're getting your ass beat. You got to take yourself back. You got to reevaluate. You know, if not, just dollar cost average. We're going to be okay. You know, we don't know how long it's going to go down, but, you know, that's how it goes.